Hi everybody. Um, I'll never be okay here. Just tell you that I'm still alive. I'm still crafting. I've just been really, really busy. And the reason I've been busy is because it's getting close to Halloween. <coughs> so I've been getting ready for that. We have over 800 trick or treaters every year. So it's crazy. <laughs> so I have to do all that. But, I wanted to show you what I've been up to. Um, and, a real quick note, I have some stuff for you, Lady Jarhead. Um, I'm not going to show them the video because I kind of want it to be a surprise. But, um, I've been kind of waiting to send it because of the whole moving situation. So, because I'm not sure. So, if you can let me know on that, that'd be cool. Uh, now, on to my stuff. <clears throat> now, um, I made a mold of that, um, uh, that coffin, candy mold, and this is my first piece that I did in it, and, um, I'll show you the in the top, the lid, which, this did not come out quite the way I wanted it, so, this was just a test piece, so I really wasn't worried about the stickers or anything, but, this is the top, and it's got black glitter, silver glitter, and glow in the dark, and the back of it's black, and it's got, you know, the Monster High sticker, and that's the outside. Now, the inside, <coughs> the coffin itself, <laughs> is this, right here. This sticker supposed to say ghouls rule, but I got impatient, and I didn't let the little bit of clear resin that I had sitting there dry all the way, or, you know, cure enough, and before I poured this there, and it went up underneath it, but I can, I have, a same, I have another sticker that's the exact same shape, just doesn't say ghouls rule, and I'm going to put there, and then just glaze over it. And then, you know, there's sides. Back side's got the same glitters and stuff as the top. And, uh, yeah, that was basically my idea. See, I didn't make it quite, you know, perfect. I didn't pour enough in this one, which... It's fine by me, to be honest. Because this was just the test piece. So, um... So what I'm going to do is, um... my idea is I have these um, stickers and I'm gonna put each of the girls the Monster High girls on the front right here and they all will fit I've already checked and uh, and then put they have each of them has a little heart in the sticker set that you know goes w along with them and I'm gonna put that right there and uh, so yeah there's that and, um, what did I want to show off? Because there was something I wanted to show off. Specifically, I wanted to show it off specifically for, uh, oh, <laughs> and just so you know, I did get this mold as well for Halloween with the ghosts and stuff. And, uh, let's see what else. Oh. Um. I got these stickers from... <laughs> they got a little messed up sitting on the couch, but these puffy Scooby-Doo stickers for a dollar from Target. So, there's that. I got a really cool notebook from Target, and I cannot find it. And I really wanted to show it off. Oh well. Um, moving on to my other resin pieces. I am really scattered, but I'm kind of tired. Uh, I got a, uh, uh, another ice cube tray mold from the Halloween store, Spirit of Halloween, and it's in the kitchen, or I'd show you guys. But um, this was the first piece I made in it, and. Come on, focus. 
focus, 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 focus. There you go. It's a bone with bones in it. But it also glows in dark if you can kind of see how it drips in between the bones. And I haven't glazed it or finished it, but I actually made this one specifically for me, you know. So either wear it like that or like that. I'm not sure yet. Um, this is one of my other favorite bones that I made from that mold, is this one. And that was literally putting the glow in the dark stuff in the leftover resin and then just dripping it in there, spacing it out a little bit, and it came out like that. So, there's that. Um, the boring one, which is just a solid white glow in the dark bone. Uh, this one didn't come out quite the way I wanted it to, but I still like it. It's kind of marbled, and it's literally, it is black fingernail polish and glow-in-the-dark paint. That's it. Now, moving on to the pieces I just did. And these are all, um, these are all glow-in-the-dark except for the one. I'll show you the one. Because I finally found, <coughs> for a decent price, the dinosaur sprinkles. So, of course, I made a dinosaur heart. And these are really tiny, and I'll show you the molds in a second, because I have a question. Um, so there's the dinosaur mold, the dinosaur one. And all of these are actually glow-in-the-dark. There is a purple one. It looks kind of blue because of the lightning, but mm, whatever. Um, here's blue. Here is a yellow one. This one was supposed to, I think, wind up being orange. Because I mixed the red and the yellow together that I had, and it came out like this. It's not far off from the color it actually is. But I still like it. Um, and then here's what the red came out like. It came out this pinky purple color. But they all glow in the dark. They don't glow the colors that they are, they just glow. But if you put them underneath the black light, they look really cool. <laughs> Um, oh, and then the last color, green. Now, moving on to the ones I am le most proud of. I'll start with the simplest ones first and move on to my favorites. In Lady Jarhead, I used so <laughs> much of some of that glitter you sent me in that one buddy box that you sent. I know, I need to shave. Bad. <laughs> um, uh, Alright, simple one. Simple one first. It's this. It's just, you know, candy sprinkles. You know, nothing super major special about it. Uh, white background. I haven't done the back, but I did for the first time glaze with resin, and I love it. <laughs> um, so it's it's really shiny. So there's that. Um, the other simple one I made was this one. It's blue. Let me see if I can kind of block the light here. There you go. It's a little better anyway. It's blue, light blue, with a little tiny, tiny bit of silver glitter in it. And it came out with kind of denim color, and I really like that. This one's kind of thin, though. But I still like it. And this color, this baby blue color, and this isn't the color, but <laughs> obviously, but I used this in the resin. I used a little bit of white and a little bit of blue. I got them Michaels for 99 cents. Um, I used a little bit of white, a little bit of blue, and it came out like that. So, and I added the silver glitter in there while you know I was mixing it. So there's that one. Um, 
Next one that's kind of simple is this one. And then, yeah, yeah, the green showed up. Okay, you can kind of tell by the glaze of resin. Um, it's actually neon green and black glitter, and that kind of clear white glitter that Lady Jar had sent me. Okay, this thing looks so classy and pretty. I call it Charleston gr Green because um, there's a color called Charleston Green, and it's a dark green with black streaks in it. And I'm originally from Charleston, South Carolina, so that's kind of what inspired this. Um, but it's just black and green glitter. It doesn't really sparkle on my webcam, unfortunately. Um, but it is, it's sparkly. It's not super, like, abundantly sparkly. But I was testing underneath a black light that I got for Halloween, and it glows. I mean, it, like, glows. So, I thought that was pretty cool. And this one, which the background is the same as this, and I'll pull this one closer so you can see it. It is just a little fishy candy that Lady Jar had sent me with that blue background and a little bit of the, the white clear glitter that she sent me in front of that. So, I thought that one came out pretty cute, actually. It looks so much more awesome in person. Uh, this one is um, some puppy sticker that I had. It's a star with a little tiny sprinkle of silver glitter and then black glitter to completely cover the back. And it came out like that. I had a time babysitting that sticker to keep it from floating. Uh, this one also looks really awesome underneath the black light. I don't mind telling you. It's just some beads, little plastic beads. So kind of simple, but a white background that I haven't you know, finished yet. And then, I kind of went hard crazy if you can't tell. Um, oh, this one. No, I'll save that one for last because it's kind of the prettiest. I need this one. This is orange glitter and orange micro beads. And wow, that looks like really pale orange on my camera, but it's it's really bright, vivid orange. It's it's almost like a pumpkin orange. Um <coughs> But yeah, you can kind of sort of see that all the micro marbles fell just at the very front, but you can't tell, at least in my opinion. This one also like super glows on her black light. And that was not my intention. I didn't know it did that. Um, this one also glows underneath black light in a very interesting effect. And I really wish I could show you guys right now, but it's just those heart, the stars and moons. It's just filled with that. And I, I did the back black, but you can't see the back anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, this one has a really cool effect. The some the stars like glow like a white and a really bright yellow under a black light. It's really and the the, the moons don't show up at all, so it looks really really cool. Oh, gotta hurry. And then this one is from a sticker set that I, I didn't want all of it, but I loved the heart, so I took the heart and I did. Where's my camera? There it is. This. And, it, you know, it's just kind of floating in there. Mm, white background. Very simple. And this is a mold. It's the IKEA Hearts mold. I got it from Goodwill, believe it or not. <laughs> and, um, what I wanted to know is what should I do with these? I was either thinking of making really tiny little pendants or rings but I don't know what people would like so any help thank you